back to my vlog it's your girl Eunice and you're back on Luna Vlogs channel so guys we all much ado please 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 I beg in the name of God please I beg you guys please subscribe to my channel thank you so much the new subscribers to my new subbies I love you guys so much and trust me when I say I'm coming to you guys I'm coming your way with banging videos back to back non-stop so this time around i'm going to be making a video that's going to help my african brothers and sisters i'm sure you guys are excited getting from the title you know the video i'm bringing your way so without much ado guys let's dive right into the video so i'm going to be taking you guys back on a little story on my experience um, before i got an admission here in australia so when I was back home, when I realized that was after, let me fast forward the story. So after I got my admission, I just needed to have an idea of what to expect when I get here and um, just the steps I needed to take, what I needed to know, the information I needed to have in hand before my departure from Abuja, Nigeria. So um, the first thought that came to my mind was, of course, YouTube. Because YouTube has everything, of course. So I was like, why don't I go to YouTube and check for some uh, vloggers who maybe from Nigeria who has come to Australia and study and the rest. So I said, dude, oh, let me go there. So that's how I went on YouTube and I tried typing in, if you see the composure, I was composing in the left and right, how to, who has come from Nigeria, different sort of things. And guess what, guys? No video absolutely not from nigeria the only girl i saw from nigeria who apparently was coming to australia was my student i think i don't know what she came for but i know that she came from um nigeria specifically lagos to australia for something so let's not waste too much time because i don't want to rant for so long but the main thing was i noticed that there was no channel that was out there to help a young nigerian or african let me say african because of course i feel like it's almost similar aside the fact that i didn't travel from your country so i think this video is also for your africans who want to come here for your studies so when i realized that i was like oh this is so bad so i made up my mind i was going to make some videos if i ended up coming here and glory be to god i'm here oh, i'm here <laughs> so guys mm. but thanks to one indian channel so there's an indian guy who has a channel and he helps out international students who are coming to australia so if you need his um youtube handle you can just put it down in the comment section and i'll tag him in my next video in the next of course i know this entire video is not going to go into just one series so it's going to come in multiple series i don't know how many but if I get positive um, vibes in the comment section and you guys want me to keep making videos like this please don't forget to just leave a comment down asking for what you need to know you don't need to um, you don't need to be afraid just drop your comments and if you want a private chat just slide into the DMs on Instagram oh, oh, oh hold on when I say slide into the DM I don't mean crazy sliding if you need help when it comes to knowing what to do the process and the reason you want but if you want to come to australia you can just get my instagram handle and don't forget to follow me on instagram my uh instagram handle my twitter handle everything is going to be in the description box below so guys enough of the ranting let's dive right into the video so the first thing i'm going to say is don't get discouraged don't get discouraged there's so many information so many manuals out there you don't have to follow anybody's manual your path is different from my path my path is different from your path so if things were difficult for me that doesn't mean that things are going to be difficult for you everybody's life is different that's one thing i'm going to say so don't forget that so it, um the first thing you just need to know if you want to come to australia is do you really want to come to australia you have to make your you have to make your personal research when i make personal research deep research on if Australia is the country for you. I'm sure if you if you actually plan on coming to Australia, you must have done little or no research. I know that Australia 
is a multicultural country where different people from all over the globe are here residing here some are schooling some came here on business purposes some came here to work there are just so many cultures here which makes it a beautiful 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 place to stay in so guys make proper research why don't make proper research on every single thing on the school you want to come to on the visa process on everything every single thing so the first thing i did was i made a small research on uh, the school i wanted to come to the city i would love to school in and just different things so right now i'm in sydney i'm in the south place to be specific so uh you have to decide if you want to be in melbourne if you want to be in western australia southern australia whatever you just have to make up your mind and after deciding that you have to make up your mind on which school you want to go to you have to check for the schools um background their um their quality to be specific because you don't want to come all the way all all the way from africa i'm sure if you studied you know that we are the opposite sides of the globe so you want to come all the way and you come here you realize that the school you applied for uh it's not it's not really what you would have loved to apply for so please 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 just make sure you make a good decision on the school you would love to come to the second thing you need to remember is uh, the requirements of the school so you have to check the school's website properly to know what the application fees to know what the process is like what you need to do the documents you need to submit uh, how long it takes to get a reply from them when it comes to the admission uh, the ranking of the school if you don't mind um, uh, just anything you just need to do your deep research the english test if your school needs an english test exam or if it doesn't need you have to find out that too you just have to make your plans way ahead of time that way it makes the whole process easier you hear people and why i said uh don't listen to people in the first place because when you plan on coming to australia you hear so many things you're like you hear so many things like ah uh, it's so difficult to my dear they don't used to give people this uh they come to australia nothing like that just go for it if you want to do it just go for it and see how it turns out and you know me now as i will always say with prayer and just believing i'm sure you'll be able to get it so once you've made up your mind once you've made your research on the school you want to come to and uh, all the requirements you need the next thing you need to do is to look for an agent and when i say look for an agent i mean look for an agent so you have to look for an agent based on his experience and based on testimonies of people who he has worked for who which was successful so you have to make that good research because you don't want to waste so much money like this agent in nigeria they are not taking it easy at all no. <laughs> their prices are something else that's something i'm going to go into that topic in a whole new video it's a whole new video so you guys have to really make research ask people which agent did you use can i have his number just get contacts discuss with them discuss their fee let them give you testimonies of people who they worked for and it was successful let them uh tell you how to do the process and uh, you have to really consider the price because it was when i got to australia here that i realized that some people did not spend even uh, divide what I spent on an agent by hundreds and put enough spend up to that. So you have to make all this research properly so you don't end up wasting your finances that you would have used for something else to come here. So um yeah and I think once you kick off with that once you get the agent the next step you have to do is apply for the school that's going in for the process major major now so what you start doing now is you start turning in your documents to the school start submitting all the requirements your bachelor's degree whatever it depends on the school whatever you ask for you just start producing them but that's why i told you to make your personal research before the process starts the reason be, reason being that once the process starts then you have all your documents on ground you just need to start sending them in and making it very easy for you which i did so once you send in your documents then the next thing is you get to wait for a response from the school 
my brother and my sister oh, that's where the main cocoa is <laughs> but you have to be patient for me i was really i was kind of i wasn't too tense because i had two other admissions in on that country so i wasn't really tense i was like oh, if i don't get it I, I don't mind but please don't be like that if that's what you're depending on you have to just keep praying and keep believing that you're going to get the admission of which i believe you're going to get it i believe so because um um education in countries like this uh the countries like this run on education when you come in as an international student and you pay your fee, all these things contribute to the economy of the country in general. So guys, uh, just do your best and do whatever you're asked to do, do it properly. Once you do that, I don't think you're going to have any issue. So for me, I can't remember clearly how long I had to wait for my admission, but it wasn't too long. I think I applied for my admission and I think after like three weeks, three or two weeks, I got a response on me. I got my admission later and I was like, yip, 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 yip. But this, that. Uh, I brought that so that is not the main I remember I came that was the main cocoa. Mm -mm. There is a bigger cocoa. The bigger one is the visa. Hey. The almighty visa. The visa is the main deal. But don't be scared. This channel is not meant to scare anybody. This channel is just meant to encourage because it's not the way it's being painted. Honestly, you know, um, back home, I don't know about other African countries, but in Nigeria, agents, I don't want to put everything on the agents, but it's them. To a large extent, they like to paint this picture that uh, it's easier to go to places like the UK and Canada, which is true. But it's also easy to come to Australia because once you have your documents right, um, if you need an English test, once you have a good score, uh, your visa once you uh, obey all the requirements strictly why not they'll okay give you your visa i just feel like um you scare people most times i don't know why but let's leave that let's just leave that that's my main discussion for today so the visa process takes about i think about a month yours can be more i don't give a particular because mine was shorter than a month mine did not was not to a month so it depends on you but it's still fine it's going to come so what you need to do is you need to go to the visa australian visa um, australian embassy website to know all you need to know when it comes to requirements and the main thing for this visa let me not forget to tell you the main thing when it comes to getting the visa in australia is sop the sop means your statement of purpose so this sop is the main act I think it's, I think it's the main factor because that SOP uh, is meant to state uh, is meant to just summarize the reason why you want to come to Australia to study what you need the uh, ex uh, what you need the knowledge over here for how you plan on using the knowledge you get from here just every single thing when it comes to the reason why you want to study here it's easy sometimes it's painted like it's very difficult but it's easy so. Um, there is a GT format which you need to use, GTE format, sorry, which you need to use, which states all these things for you, which, sorry, tells you uh, um, the subheadings of every single thing you need to talk about in your essay. For me, it didn't give me so much issue. That was because I wrote my SOP months, months, months ahead of um, my visa uh, application, or whatever you call it. So, um, for the SOP, you just need to be very transparent, very honest. So what you need from me is you just need you to tell them why you're coming here. Assure them that you're not coming here to stay, that you're coming here to just do your studies, get the knowledge which you need to get and go back home to invest this knowledge in your country. So you just need to tell them um, the reason why you want to do the course you want to do, why you're not doing the course back home but you want to do it here um or how you plan on impacting the knowledge you get here back home after your two years program your program can be two years it can be one year six months however it is but um sorry guys let before i forget uh, for the bachelor students i don't know so much when it comes to the process to come in for your bachelor's 
So I'm just going to leave that aside. But for those of you that are done with your MIC and you're done with your bachelor's degree and want to do your master's, this is the video for you. For the Africans out there, for the other Africans aside Nigerians who are thinking, ah, is this video for me? Yes, this video is also for you. You can make use of it. The only difference between this video, I think, I think is the fact that you travel from your country. But you can use this video to have a slight idea of what to expect and what not to expect. So once you're done with your visa processing, you have to go during your visa processing, sorry, application process, you have to go in for your capturing. That's after you turn in your documents. The first step is that you submit your documents to them. That's your SOP, your international passport, all of those things, whatever they ask for. You submit it to them. I think after, after two weeks, I guess, they will send you an invitation to go in for your capturing and your biometrics. So you go in, in Abuja, I think the office is in the central area, it's one of those plazas, I've forgotten, I think there's any bank in that same plaza. So you go in there, you go in for your biometrics and your uh, capturing. And when you go in there, please be of good behavior, dress properly, just to make sure you're safe. Uh, and don't forget to take whatever, just read through the invitation, they're going to tell you what to bring over for the capturing. So once you do the capturing and your biometrics, then the wait, you start waiting again. So this time around, I think you have to also wait for about two weeks or however, I'm not sure. But you now have to wait for the actual response from the visa, from the embassy. So for me, I waited, mine what took about three weeks and some days, I think, or three weeks. So when my visa came, I was like, yay, yay. <laughs> so that was the excitement of it. And this year is a new year. This year is a year of positivity. You don't have to take any negative vibe into this year. If whatever you want to do, just go for it. Just make sure you do your research well and just believe, just have the faith that the grace of God is going to help you through the process and take you to where you're going to be. So guys, once you get the visa, another cocoa starts again. The next thing is thinking of what you need to pack, how the journey is like. So this was the point where I had to go on YouTube to look for someone who has a video that could guide me. But unfortunately, I found no one. So that's why you guys are so lucky to have me. You're having free information. All I need for me, you guys, I'm going to emphasize again, please subscribe to my channel. Watch my previous videos. Give my videos a thumbs up. Put your comment down in the comment section and please share my videos. Tell your friends about it. Your relative, whoever needs to needs this information right now, please just be really nice to share the information with others. So guys, this video is getting too long. I have to stop this series here. I'm going to come with more series. I can't tell you how many videos I need to put out for all the whole um, tips you need to come to street. I don't I can't tell you how many videos will be out for the series to be completed, but guys, just Stay alert and just hang around the corner because small videos are going to be dropping on what you need to know. Thank you so much for hanging around and hearing me run about all these boring stuff. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Before I do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like my video, drop your comments, don't forget. Please drop your comments. Feel free to drop your comments. Whatever comment you have, whatever questions you have, whether you are from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Tanzania, from Uganda, wherever you are from. So, for my African, for my other African uh, brothers and sisters, what I'm going to do is I have some friends here which are from Afri other African countries. I'm going to ask them, I'm going to ask them if it's okay for them to feature in a video to give you guys some advice which you need. If not, I'll get the information from them and relate down to you guys. So thank you so much for being patient and listening to this girl talk all this while. Take care of yourself, stay blessed, be positive in this 2020, pursue your dreams, just be yourself, just be good, just keep growing, just keep loving everyone and just keep spreading the positive vibe everywhere. Thank you so much. Love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, loads, loads, loads. Share my video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!